Hi, I'm Lindsay and I'm taking Wilk and Harley Davidson's Riding Academy. Um, I'm nervous because I've never been on a mo like in control, like even on a small dirt bike. The closest thing to this I've done is, I'm pretty sure like a bicycle in eighth grade gym class. So, I'm bit, I don't know what to expect. So as you can see, we've got the Street 500 here locked into something we call a jump start. And John is an expert on uh, the beginning, uh, getting oriented to the, how they feel. He's gonna run you through a couple of quick uh, exercises. They're gonna spend 15, 20 seconds on the bike just to get a feel for the gears. Now get a feel for your throttle. See, it doesn't take much. So a Today I'm pretty sure it's just classroom activities and learning the rules of the road and how to actually, I don't even know how to turn on a motorcycle, frankly. So this is, we're starting from ground zero and going from there. Well, um, we got right on the bikes this morning, which was a little nerve-wracking because I have never ridden a bike by myself. We started off with some simple, just moving back and forward with the engine on and making sure like we were comfortable. And then we got right into doing laps and circles. Um, turns are a big no for me. I can't really grasp the concept of having to like turn and look at the same time without dying. Um, I've dumped the bike a lot. I'm sure there's great footage of that, uh, but it doesn't hurt, so each time I get up and get stronger. I'm really confident that I'm gonna get a lot better because it's all about trusting yourself in the bike. So, yeah. It just, it really boosted my confidence to know that anyone can take this test and be perfectly fine with it. Whether you know how to ride a mo motorcycle or dirt bike or you're like me and can't even turn one on. So my name is Eric Britton. I've been riding for about 50 years. Uh, I've been teaching for, this is my 10th or 11th year teaching now. Teaching styles, I'm very laid back, very relaxed. Try not to put any more pressure on the students than they're, they're already experiencing. To just get them to relax, drop their shoulders, let's have fun with this. And it's amazing how, how they respond to that. They respond really well. Don't put any pressure on them, okay? The pressure is all self-induced. We have a very high percentage rate here. We're over 90% passing, which is very good. It's about average for the rest of the state as well. Uh, we spend that extra time. Small class, six folks. So uh, I'm able to spend a lot of individual time. And so with that individual time, you can really focus on the little problems and correct it. I think the refinement they get towards the end of this is amazing. They really, really do get refined skills out of it when it's done. So the class is two and a half days long, okay? We have a classroom portion that's about anywhere from three to four hours, and uh, usually about four. And then one of the other things we'll do is uh, on, the next on the first morning at eight o'clock, we come out to the motorcycles, we introduce them to the bike they're gonna ride for the next two days. We go through all the safety features, the vehicle protection kit, we go through the range rules, what you can do and what you can't do, okay? And I, make, I go through everybody's equipment, make sure they have all the safe, proper riding gear, it meets the standard. And then uh, it's a crawl, walk, run type of training. Go at a crawl pace and then we pick it up to a walking pace and then we're at a run pace by about exercise four or five. Anybody can take this class as long as you, if you know how to ride a bicycle, so you understand the two-wheel balance and you're in you know, reasonably decent physical shape, 
There's no reason you can't do this. A little bit of hand-eye coordination, right? The ability to do things with your hands and feet like you would in a car. Yeah, I think what's, uh, anybody could really do this.